It's currently quarter to seven in the morning. I am eating toast on the way to the train station. We are going to Milan for just a little over 24 hours. I'm extremely excited. I haven't been to Milan in so, so long, but we have about five to six hour train journey ahead of us right now. And I feel very, very tired, but it's worth it. So I'm very excited to come with me to Milan. We all made it on the train, Woo! But it's a bit early in the morning to have a full on discussion, but. Look, we're watching the sunset, the sunrise even. So we've made it, we're on our way. T minus five hours, let's go to Milan. We've switched trains and we've got food and we're ready for the next part, going to Milan, where it's currently sat at Ventimigli. And we've got four hours to go. So yeah, let's go. judge the grandma sweater i think it's actually really cool it's actually a 90s retro jumper that i got from some vintage sale thing but i just thought it was cute and it's cozy because it is a little bit colder in milan at the moment we have just got into the airbnb and we are officially the first people to use this airbnb it has just been confirmed by the host i did have an inkling that that was the case but i mean this flat is like brand new so i'm going to take you on a little tour this is the entrance way they've got all these cute things and then look at the kitchen area it's gorgeous and just here is like the kitchen thing and look how cute they are they left us breakfast for tomorrow morning and i have a feeling we're going to be hungover and absolutely need this there's a toilet in here oh Carl. <laughs> this is Carl's bed. Um, <laughs> there's like a fridge here with some water in it. And then Rita and I are staying in here. Look how gorgeous this place is. I'm in love. So we have made it out of the apartment and we are on our way to like the center of Milan to try and get some lunch. Our Airbnb is stunning. We are finding all these cute little things that they've left for us, like breakfast in the morning and the coffee and then cute things in the bathroom. Also, there are like some music plays in the bathroom whilst you have a shower, which is pretty damn cool. And yeah, we're just waiting for the bus now and then gotta go get some food. <laughs> Guys, we had lunch and we've just come to the galleries. It is like so crowded. It's literally the beginning of November and this place is like wrapped. So it's just a little bit like crazy because it's so like off-peak season for like the majority of places. So just a bit confused, but it's okay. We've done our lucky spins in the gallery, which is good. And now we're gonna try and find a rooftop bar. So just try and get some sunset in there. I'm not the only influencer here. <laughs> guys we've been at this lovely rooftop restaurant <laughs> i'm not filming that way and this is our incredible view up here it is amazing but the rooftop bar here is so busy so the staff hasn't been it, they haven't really been as on it but they basically realized we've been trying to order like a second drink for ages and because basically they've taken a while to do it they gave us these really cute little food dishes which was very kind of them so we're going to try them all together oh. So, should we try, which one are we gonna try first? This one. Okay, I don't know what this is. Looks like this. Ready? I don't like it. 
It's like olive -y. Yeah. I'm not olives. Yeah, Why didn't you start with the last one? This one is more My brain doesn't work that way. Should we eat this one then? The, the sandwich? Yeah, this one looks cute. I think it's got like tuna in it. Are they ready? Mm. I like this one a lot better. For sure. This is big. Yeah. Bread with the this is white and big. Yeah. They're pretty nice. Yeah. They're quite little cute, like drinky beds. I, I like them. This is not a healthy store. <laughs> I have always wanted feet in my mouth. So it's got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this store? This is like the most random candy store. <laughs> Chocolate. I want it. Pizza. How the fuck is that pizza? Cards loving life. I think maybe we've had too much drink for this. Yeah, I'll get feet. I'll get some feet. Just licking our feet. <gasps> hey you! <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we went back to the flat and got changed and now we are ready to get some food. <laughs> Sorry. Carl. Sorry. We're going to go and get some food and then go to a bar and then there's a really cool club that we're going to check out, see if we can get into, that's basically in a church, which is so sick. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm very excited, but I think we need to sober up a little bit with some food. <laughs> about me drinking a non-Swedish beer though. And it's Scandinavian, so it's quite good, but it's not Swedish. It could be worse, it could be British. <laughs> so it could be worse. So guys, we had a lovely dinner, and now we are heading to the club, even though we are all absolutely exhausted from our 6 a.m. start, but we are gonna make it. We're waiting for the bus right now. It is absolutely freezing, not used to this. South of France, I was actually swimming at the weekend, in the sea so this is disgustingly cold but yeah we are waiting for the bus right now it's gonna come soon and then it's party time but it might be grandma party time because we're old and tired so we are back at the apartment right now because we went to the club which i have seen all over tiktok it's like a club that's in a converted church so like it's a really great concept right we arrive after having dinner and we're like ready to go in the club, like all excited. There's not a single person in the queue, just bear in mind. 50 euros entry. I'm sorry, I have just been out in Monaco and it isn't 50 euros there. Like I am so sorry, like we've literally come from the south of France to come to just have a nice time here. And I'm like 50 euros. And they were like, oh, well you get two free drinks with it. What, sorry, like club drinks are like water. So I'm just like, what the fuck are you offering? So basically don't waste your time. Don't go there. Like, oh my God. Like I just couldn't believe it. It was like crazy money. And we did see some people queuing after us. And I think they were being told the same thing. And I'm just like, well, this club is boring because nobody's going in it. Like who is paying 50 euros for entry into a club? Like, what the hell? Maybe it's because they're just going viral on TikTok. I don't know. But yeah, basically, give yourself a heartache and don't bother even trying to turn up. It's a slightly more mellow ending to our day today, which is okay because actually it means that we can wake up early tomorrow and do a little bit more of that day and not just be completely hungover. But yeah, I'm looking forward to going to sleep now and I'm a bit sad that I've wasted a uh, full face of makeup on this, but... Oh well, it is what it is, and I'm sure there'll be a good night out soon, anyway. Good morning, everybody. Today is our second day in Milan. We have woken up just in time for checkouts, and we are going to leave this little slice of paradise in Milan behind us. It's been an amazing Airbnb, and I still can't believe that we're the first people to use it, so I can try it and somehow 
leave a link to them down below but i highly recommend using them here it's really great because the bus stops just outside of the apartment and then it's only 20 minutes straight into the center of milan so their apartment is amazingly located as well so i think because we're not hungover or as hungover as i thought we might be we've actually got quite a bit of time to do a quite a few things i think carl and i are going to go up the duomo onto the roof and go and have a look at that view if we can get tickets we're trying to still work that bit out and then I think we're just, just gonna go and go do some shopping. What I've learned here is that in Milan, there's not a massive amount in terms of like things to see and do, like normally how I would normally travel around the city. And the shopping here is obviously great. I don't really know what we'll get up to, but the 24 hours that we've had here is probably the most perfect amount of time for us right now. Yeah, let's go have a good day. We have just got our tickets for the rooftop from this bit. It's like the Museum Duomo. Um, instead of the line around here that everyone goes to, um, and the queue is so much shorter there. So if you want to get a ticket for the rooftop straight away, then go over there. Our ticket is, it was 15 euros on the door. You can get it 10 euros online, but the time slots didn't really work for us. And now we had access to a museum, which I showed you, and also like another church. And now we are going to be walking around and trying to get up and try and find the stairs to walk up to the rooftop. I'm very excited. We are currently climbing the stairs up the cathedral. Now this is a long way. I have done this once before and I remember it being long. So here goes, we got this. Think of the good ass. up to the rooftop of the Duomo and we even had a look inside the cathedral which we thought the floor was absolutely sensational but the roof wasn't as impressive as some of the incredible roofs that I've seen in Italy um, such as the one in Venice oh my god that ceiling is like coated in gold but we as I said the floor was incredible but we are currently underneath the cathedral looking at some of the remains from the church that was built around 500 the year 500 so we're currently looking at remains that are two thousand years old well just under but that's insane that is insane i'm so excited to keep looking there's so much here but I just thought I would update you on what exactly we did in the final few hours there. So after we went out of the Duomo, we went to this classic Insta rooftop bar thing that was supposed to be really, really cute. But as with most of these places, the service was just crazy bad. I can't lie. The waiter literally threw my chips at me all over the table and then just walked off. And I was like, okay. It's not like I've paid like 30 euros for this burger, but okay. Obviously I'm not one to like complain about it, but when it's something that's like so prestigious and that everyone's queuing and all the like people were like looking at you funny, like trying to like judge you to see whether you were like allowed in. It was a weird dynamic there, but I mean, the view wasn't even that good. I'm pretty sure they photoshopped the photo on their TripAdvisor. And like, honestly, I don't really know what happened there. So anyways, bit of a fail, but you know what? The food was all right. So 
that was okay. But afterwards we had a little bit of a panic as we rushed to the train station and the Milan train station is huge. So leave at least half an hour to just like navigate your way through all the platforms because it is actually insane there but anyways we got back and we had a really really good time as i'd said previously you only really need 24 hours in milan like nothing that much longer it was like the perfect amount of time for like a weekend break so i highly recommend doing it for sure but unless you're there to like shop around and spend lots of money then there's not a huge amount else to do there but i really enjoyed my time there and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you on the next one bye